chemical properties of carboxylic acids. There are three categories in chemical properties of carboxylic acid. The first one is substitution of OH group. So the OH group in the COOH is being substituted. And then donation of H plus from the OH group means you donate the H plus from OH group of the carboxylic acid. And finally, the reduction of carboxylic acid with LIALH4. And substitution of OH group means the OH group in the carboxylic acid is being substituted. You have acid chloride formation, esterification, acid anhydride formation, and amides formation. For donation of H plus from OH group, we have neutralization reaction with electropositive metals only two. And one, alcohol formation from carboxylic acid that undergoes the reduction with LIALH4. First, let's look at the donation of H plus from OH group. It is neutralization reaction. Carboxylic acid reacts with base. That's what we call neutralization reaction. Reacts with base to form salt and water. So this H, donation of H+, plus, we know that neutralization, donation of H+, plus from OH group. So you remove this H+, plus and replace with an A metal. So it becomes ionic bond, O minus an A+. Plus. This is salt and water. Because you remove H2 and you have OH, so it's H2O. That's the first chemical properties, first chemical reaction in carboxylic acid. Next, reaction with electropositive metal. Carboxylic acid reacts with electropositive metal. Electropositive metal usually group 1 and group 2. Electropositive metal. So it reacts with electropositive metal to form carboxylic salt and hydrogen gas. So here, if this is Group 1 metal, remove H+, it will become O minus M+. But if this M is group 2 metal, it is 2 plus. If 2 plus, you need 2 COO minus. Okay, COO minus, another COO minus with this M2 plus. Okay, you need 2 COO minus with this M2 plus. If group 1, on the M+. Plus. If group 2, you need 2 COO-. Minus. And the product, the side product is H2. Half H2. Here, half H2. Chloride formation. From carboxylic acid, remove OH. If it reacts with SOCl2 and pyridine, Cl will replace the OH. Same goes for reaction with PCl5. Cl1, Cl atom will replace OH. So CCl, same goes for PCl3. One chlorine atom will replace OH. So each reactant gives different side product. Okay, for PCl5, POCl3, HCl. For PCl3, H3, PO3. So acid chloride formation can be formed when you react the carboxylic acid with SOCl2 in pyridine, PCl5 and PCl3. Esterification, remove the OH in carboxylic acid, remove the H in the alcohol. Esterification is the reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohol to produce esters. Make sure the arrow is reversible, presence of acid and heat. So the products are ester and water because you remove OH from carboxylic acid, remove H from alcohol. Acid and hydride formation, carboxylic acid reacts with another carboxylic acid. It can form acid in hydride in the presence of P2O5 and heat. So in one carboxylic acid, remove OH. In another carboxylic acid, remove H. So the side product will be water. When you remove OH, this carbon involved. Remove H, 
this oxygen involved. So this carbon will be attached to this oxygen single bond COC. C single bond O single bond C. This is acid anhydride. Remove hydrogen from one carboxylic acid and remove OH from another carboxylic acid. Make sure to put the catalyst P2O5 and heat. Acid anhydride can also be formed when you have one carboxylic acid, another one is acid chloride. Acid chloride in the presence of pyridine. Okay, if you use one carboxylic acid, one acid chloride, the presence of pyridine. If you use both carboxylic acid, the presence of heat and P2O5. Okay, you need the presence of P2O5 for both carboxylic acid. For one carboxylic acid, one acid chloride, you only need pyridine and same the formation of acid and hydride. In the carboxylic acid, remove hydrogen. In the acid and hydride, remove Cl. So the side product will be HCl. And where you remove the hydrogen is at this oxygen. Where you remove the Cl is at this carbon. So this carbon will attach to this oxygen. So it will become C single bond O single bond C. This is the product acid and hydride formation. Amides formation. Carboxylic acid reacts with amine. And H3 with no R group at all. It will produce primary amide. Remove OH and this C single bond with N. And in NH3, remove one hydrogen. So the side product is water. OH, H, side product, water. If you want to produce secondary amide, the secondary amide, use primary amine. NH2 with one R root, primary amine, it will produce secondary amide. Remove OH, remove H, and this N will attach to C, not R, N. N will attach to C, single bond C, single bond N. Secondary amide, side product water. If you want to produce tertiary amide, you have to use primary amine, R2 and H. Remove OH, remove one hydrogen in N. So C, single bond N will be produced, this one. C, single bond N, side product water. Remove one hydrogen from amine and remove OH in carboxylic acid. Now you can form amide. Finally, the reduction with LiAlH4 followed by hydrolysis. This is carboxylic acid undergoes reduction reaction. And you remove the C double bond O, it will become the primary alcohol. This is another primary alcohol. Remove the C double bond O, that's the product. And methanoic acid can act as a reducing agent. So methanoic acid can undergo oxidation. Only for methanoic acid, not 2 carbon, not 3 carbon, not 4 carbon, only for 1 carbon carboxylic acid. Methanoic acid can undergo oxidation reaction. KMnO4, H plus heat, strong oxidizing agent. It will produce CO2, H2O and MN2+. The observation, it undergo oxidation reaction, purple colour of KMnO4 decolorized. And this carboxylic acid can also form silver mirror. Reacts with the tolerant reagent AgNH32 plus OH minus. The product will be the same as the oxidation, CO2, H2O. But here, silver mirror, oxidation, MN2+. The other product, same, carbon dioxide and water. Thank you.